Yo, 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 welcome back. This is the Kickoff FC show. This is your boy, Ryan 2012, and that's your boy. Dan Rumba. All right, you already know we talk everything Manchester United, but today we're going to talk about Ronaldo bombshell interview. Yes. And Ten Hag's reaction, real quick. But first, Dan Rumba, tell him what I say, no? It seems like everybody trying to throw each other under the bus, but for right now, what more you for do is hit that like button, hit that subscribe, notification bell. Let's run it up. Yeah, we're going to make this a real quick video. But all right, I wanted to talk about Ronaldo's interview, right? That mm. bombshell interview. My man was taking all kinds of shots at Ten Hag. And rightfully so. You're a club legend. Yes. All the other club legends have an opinion. Why can't Ronaldo have one? Because he's still playing. And I didn't see anything egregious. Like mm. his first interview that he did way back when that got him sent to Saudi Arabia. I mean, you're not <laughs> wrong. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So... He said in the interview, like, some of the things he said is like, yo, he was challenging the mentality of Tenaga in the club. Okay. Because I'm saying, yo, you as the manager, you can't come out and say, we're not going to compete for the EPL title. Really? That's what we've come to? That's pretty damn sad. I'm starting to lose faith. I must admit, this stuff is starting to depress me. Even if you know the yeah. potential of your squad is not up to par to compete for the title, you have to at no. least say you're going to try. But see, that don't even make sense of Ten Hag saying he can't challenge for the title. You bought these players. <laughs> you bought like 10 dudes. Hundreds of millions spent. What are we talking about here? How are you not challenging for the Premier League? Next question. Next question. Next question. What? Next question. You spend hundreds of millions. So Ronaldo is 100% correct. 100. And you send where the goat. The Saudi Arabia. The goat. The Saudi Arabia. You send him go in a bush. And then you got to talk about, he's far away. Ten Hag's reaction was like, everybody can have an opinion. He's far away in Saudi Arabia. Who sent him there? <laughs> you book the ticket and sign off the man gone. <laughs> all right, all right. Oh, hold on, no. Bear in mind, you know, Ronaldo had double digits goal, twenty plus yes. goals. Since Ronaldo has left the club, who Science. has scored Science, that man, many goals? Put some JoJo for the man you know, after I've left. Cause nobody, who, nobody, who has crossed over to twenty goals since? Nobody. And since the man know, left the seven jersey. Nobody has been able to fill those shoes. Yeah, the only person that came curse. half decent, mm -hmm. half decent, I wouldn't even say close. I'd say like close to half decent was yeah. probably Di Maria. Di Maria right. had started good, but then you know, I'm like, yo, I'm gonna like, yes, more out. But that was a different thing that uh, when Ronaldo yeah, went there, I'm just saying, think, okay, either yeah, way, yeah, I'm yeah, saying, yeah. Since, mm -hmm. since Ronaldo left the seven, who yeah. been, who been taken up? Nothing. There's been no sevens. That's what I'm saying. No so the sevens. man, no. And, and another point that Ronaldo also made, he said, yo, if you're looking to rebuild the club, and I get what you're saying, you're rebuilding the club, mm -hmm. right? Wouldn't you want to talk to the legends of Sir Alex Ferguson? Which Sir Alex Ferguson, as you can see, is very active. We can right. see that, right? The Sir Alex Ferguson, the Rio Ferdinand, the Paul Scholes, the, the Roy Keynes, the legends mm -hmm. of the club, the Wayne Rooney's. You need to talk to these guys. You know, and that's what Ronaldo is saying. Why not? And then he even right. took... Actually, you know what? Let me stop this. What do you think about that? But I mean, with talking to the legends, of course, you can get some... Uh, a feel for the club more and, you know, see what the culture was like before and what Fergie used to do. So you can hear from Fergie and the players. But it, to me, it all comes down to the players on the pitch. Because mm. Tenag can beat... He not them head pause 20 million times. You see what I say? Pressure, pressure, pressure. And and then nothing on the pitch. Because the man them just lock, lost the lazy. They might get paid too much. Or yeah, I don't know what it is. Much. I don't know what it is, bro. But the man them just... Out me, I'll see a video of Rashford at train. And the man look casual. You know... The you know, shooting drill one? Yeah, dog. The man look like... At least he was putting something in the back of the neck. Brother. The man is just going through the paces, slow-mo. I think I had to check the video speed. <laughs> to see if it was... The man is moving slow. Nah, brother. Well, he coming off the bench tomorrow. So we go find <laughs> out. So, 
Let's see. You know, but hold on. As you mentioned that, you know, mm. speaking to the players, um, Ronaldo also said maybe we sh maybe he should Ten Hag should mm -hmm. learn to listen more to Vanessa Roy, which is obviously another job. Yeah, we rest. Ten Hag. That now go happen. <laughs> that will never happen. You will never live to see that. Happen. That coach, coach like He's that. not the coach, but mm -hmm. at the same time, trying to peer into what you just said. We have seen Ten Hag on the sidelines being very vocal. Yes. We have seen him in the ears of the strikers. And we know Ten, we know Ruth Vanessa is a legend. We know what he, what he brings to the club. We know mm. what he's saying. But we still only have two goals. And in, the two in goals, three games? one from a striker and one from a winger. In three games. Yeah. I'm not questioning Ruth Vanessa Rai. Don't get me wrong. Mm -hmm. The point I'm making is what you were saying earlier. Yeah. You can drill it into the players. And they just go out on the pitch and... It's like you can't bring the donkey to the well, but you can't force him for drink. I don't even know where you're sitting at. Like. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so... I'm sure Vanessa Rai is doing his job and drilling it into them, but... Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, if, if they're not responding, what do you do? Exactly, and the training mentality needs to be at full pace. They need to game ask speed. him how... Yeah, game speed... How work did you practice, Mister Roy? What are the things you did to be a better scorer? You know what I'm saying? Some people just have it, and some people have to train feet to make sure say it instill in them. You see what I'm saying? Without even looking up at the goal, you know which part they're up on the field. Exactly. These players don't seem like they have the dog in them. And as you talk about legends, like look at legends. If you are a ball player, the Rashfords, everybody at Manchester United, the, the youths coming up. People you need to emulate, Zine, in terms of from a professional perspective and training and practice. Ronaldo is a is a is a talented player. Does was he gifted like Messi? I don't think so. Not Maybe natural. controversy. He, he's, Messi just looked naturally gifted. Yeah. But Ronaldo had the talent, and guess what? He had a sheer determination and tenacity to train. And you see yeah. that. Look at the difference between him and Wayne Rooney in terms of Age. he's still playing. Right, right, And the right. fitness level of the man. And mm -hmm. that can also look at um, Zlatan. Zlatan yeah. is another person you can emulate. He, he don't sleep on his training. Mm -hmm. That man is training to this day. That man is in better shape yeah. than 90% of the people out there. You know what I'm saying? He don't even look his age. He look like he could mm. still play. He ain't even had to retire, bro. Mm. Henri. I'm sure if Henri go up on the field right now, can take them on. Find the bug, man. Find the bug. Easy. Them boys keep their fitness levels to the point I'm trying to make is, as a younger player coming up in the game, yo, these are people you want to look up and emulate. Because it's clear if you put in the work, you will get the results. Yeah. But see, a lot of folks' mentality... It's just I got paid. Lazy. You know what I'm gonna say? Once you get the money, the hundred million, it's like why am I going out to train six o'clock and then nine o'clock and then evening ball? You know what I'm gonna say? It's, it's not it's not open up no You're not no you're not Ronaldinho who could do those things, go to the bar the no night before. One is go. You're not gifted. No one is have to have that level of yeah. No, it's about talent paired with training. You know, you can't, you gotta, you, in order for you to maximize your mm. potential, it's talent plus training, maximize your potential and keep it going. Right. And then the thing with Ren, what Ronaldo also said, he was saying it while he was at the club about fixing up everything. The infrastructure. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I come back and things are still the same, still not, not the changed. Same. And I've been Nothing. left. You know what I'm saying? I've been left for years and I come back and I feel like mm. things were the same. You know, but to be fair, now we have new leadership. The inner team is in place. And what's the CEO of Barrera, or if I'm mispronouncing his name, he came out and said, yo, we're making changes. We signed some players, five players that they're excited about. Yeah. Which we are all, we all are. We just want to see the product on the pitch come together and gel. I would like the movement. We hear infrastructure is being upgraded, looking at new state, all those good things, right? And I know it's going to take time, so we're patient with you. But mm -hmm. just continue to make the movements in the right direction. And Tenag, stop your BS. Please stop. <laughs> Better get that win tomorrow, bro. I'm saying though. Better get I that can't win. wait to see the lineup right. and all oh, the squad gel. If the break gave them a little relaxation, a reset, you know what I'm saying? Take the mat out of the AI from the bug up, is it? And then come forth with a, a proper outing. 7 13 in the morning, yeah. Eastern time. 
Uh, early kickoff in England. Let's get it. All right, man. We'll see y'all 7.30 in the morning at the Manchester United match. Excited. Yes. Let's uh, get it. Don't lose. We need a dub. We need a dub. We need to win. Dubs we need to win. Dubs in a shack. Dubs in a shack. Let's get it. <laughs> anyway, this your boy, Right 2012, and that's your boy, Don Rumba.